So hello everyone, my name is Juan Gomes. I'm from MG Sustainable Engineering. I am the founder um, or co-founder together with my partner. So uh, we are a Uppsala based startup. We are providing specialized solutions, specialized solutions. We, we write grant applications to uh, several large EU uh, and Swedish funding agencies. Uh, we do different engineering tasks like simulation and modeling with a bunch of softwares. We do research and development and scientific publications. We do solar system design. We do uh, production processes. So we have worked with, for example, uh, um, large concentrating solar thermal uh, collector production. It's an automated production. So we have done communication and dissemination of events and we do project management and coordinations mainly in EU projects. So these are some of the funding entities we have that we have worked with. Um, they are known to many of you. So Eureka Eurostars, Horizon 20, the new Horizon Horizon 20 we have just finished. We have two large projects there. So some of our projects. So here on the right, you see the 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 on top you see the Res for Build project. It's a research and innovation action from H2020. It's a five million euro project with 16 partners, and the goal of this project was basically to develop a flexible approach to the energy usage in buildings. Um, and uh, on the right hand side, you can see our collector. So this was a collector that we have built for this project using a novel geometry and using a, a novel setup. Um, is everything okay with the sound? Everything is okay with the sound, but I okay. can see you changing slides. You cannot see the slides. We can see the slides, but we can't see oh. you changing them. What does that mean? Uh, you cannot see them changing. Oh, we, we can see your slide, but you haven't moved for the original slide one. But that's okay. Yeah, okay. No, but I have moved. So then I have to come here and some do something because I have changed the slides. Um, yeah, we we're saying some people in the audience are saying as well, you have to be in slide mode. You should be able to trust press number five, F5. Is it but easier to just do this? Can you see, can you see it now? We can see it, it looks great. It's just that you need to like each time, make sure that you go to the- Can you see the second slide now? Yes, this looks perfect. Okay. This is exactly so, what we Thank you for the audience um, coming in. <laughs> my apologies yeah. for, for this. Then now, no, no well, you missed this part here. Um, so these are the funding agencies that we have. Um, so these are some of our projects that are currently ongoing. So in this has for build, basically we built the, the solar thermal photovoltaic collector that you see on the right. This is a solar panel that produces both heat and electricity. And it's one that we have developed throughout this project. It was a, a very large undertaking. Um, but uh, we have managed to do this and we have managed to test this panel in Sweden and in Greece. And now we are installing it in Denmark and in uh, Greece as well. Um, so another project that we are carrying out is Res for Life. This is a project, it's a 6 million euro project. It's an innovation action from uh, age 2020. Uh, it has 17 partners in here. What we are going to do is take care, care of the energy systems in livestock farming. And in this case, we, our company MG, we provide the photovoltaic thermal uh, collectors and the system for that. So Friendship is another one. Here we use high temperature heat pumps in combination with solar heat. And we want to prove that it's a reliable, user-friendly and high quality cost-effective um, way to meet your energy demand for industry. Power Up My House, the goal here is around education. It's very much focused on the on the on PVT, on photovoltaic thermal technology. And this is a much smaller project. And the goal here is education. So we are uh, preparing materials for the universities to be able to teach uh, this and as well having installer courses and things like this. So New Sol was a project that one of our team members has carried out and here it was done in Portugal and uh, at the University of Évora and uh, here the goal is advanced material solutions and in a innovative 
uh, storage media for CSP, which is concentrated solar power. This we are talking about much higher temperatures, uh, often over a thousand uh, um, Celsius. So Eureka Eurostars was a project I did from 2016 to 2019. Here we designed a, um, a PVT, a CPVT and a thermal collector, and we also designed the production line to build that collector. So it was a, a very nice project, um, which, well, we managed to build a whole production line for, for this collector. So this solar soft was another one that we've done. This is about having softer ribbons, which means we break less the solar cells. They are very susceptible to solar cells. Uh, this modular solar lab, this was with uh, CEDA, was funded by the Swedish International Development Agency. And what we have done here basically was to construct a very small lab in Mozambique and then teach a small course both here and in Zambia. Um, so that was a, a very interesting project that we have gotten the chance to, to do. Uh, Heat for Industry is one of our largest applications now. It's an 8 million euro project that we have submitted. We have designed basically four systems. Um, so two are feasibility studies, two will be real case. And this is all about heat pump and solar thermal heat. Then we have a concept for district heating, which we want to put forward. We haven't uh, turned that into a project yet, but that is something we want to do in the upcoming uh, future. Um, this MCA is a call for, we want to do a PhD school on several topics, being PVT uh, a critical topic here. Imperative is a proposal we are going to submit now in, in February, and we are looking for early stage disrupting PVT technologies, and you can see a little bit about the four technologies that we are presenting in, in this, um, in this uh, proposal. So these are some of our partners in Sweden. Um, these are some of our partners in Europe. We have a large network of, of partners, both in Europe and in Sweden. We have been lucky with that. This is a little bit about our team. It's a very diverse uh, team. Um, uh, so I, I won't go into many details because there isn't enough time. But um, I would like to thank you for your presentation. And um, I'm looking forward to... Uh, hearing your thoughts and ideas about the presentation. Thank you. Awesome, <clears throat> and thank you. That was amazing. Um, yeah, let's see for the audience. If you have any questions, you can start posting them in the chat. Um, it was a great presentation, and I guess I can start with a few questions in the in the meantime. How long have you been doing this for, and what made you uh, start this company? So uh, I have been research director at a company called Solarus in Sweden uh, that was producing photovoltaic wow. thermal collectors. Um, and I have worked there for 10 years. And in 2014, I decided to, to start MG with uh, uh, Georgiana, my partner. Um, so we decided to go forward with the, with the company and see what we would do. So we had, the company has had a little bit of activity in 2014. And then uh, in 2019, we decided to take the step of hiring the first person. Um, uh, and well, up to last year, we were only one person, but now mm -hmm. we are already 12 persons hired in the company. Wow. And uh, yeah, it has been a very big growth and a very fast growth. So now we are trying to, uh, make sure that we expand in, in, in the right way. But we have very interesting projects and the goal of the company is to to develop, it's focused on solar, but it's not exclusive to solar. And well, our goal is to, to promote this uh, nice technologies and and um, and be a hub for for this kind of developments. So that, that's what we intend. Awesome, and we have another question from Luisa, and she says, have you any experience of installing solar thermal in historic buildings? Uh, in historic buildings, we have not done that, um, but uh, it, is, it is quite important there because you wanna make sure that you, you keep the original, that you do not change the original uh, designs or that, yeah, that you can integrate it in a, in a nice manner. Right. 
Yeah, no, that's a really good, interesting question. And uh, I guess you have to think about that, like you say, a little bit more, but I, I hope to see that on every building in the future. Yes, uh, I mean, it is inevitable that this is going to be in every building, but not just in, in buildings to supply the, um, the residential demand, but also in industries. A very large chunk is industry. So one key message that uh, I always like to pass is that heat is half of the world's energy demand. Then you have 30% of the energy demand is mobility and electricity only represents 20%. And mm. this is this is not going to change anytime soon. So there's a lot of buzz about uh, electricity, but the heat demand is really a key a key thing that should be emphasized. Uh, that we have 50% of the energy demand, and we need to address that. Right. We are not going to solve the energy crisis without without tackling the the heat demand, which is 50% right. of the energy um, demand. So we need to do to to find clever solutions for that and solar thermal is providing many of those uh, solutions awesome uh that's really interesting i had no idea thank you for sharing my pleasure